Hello, welcome back. Let's start uh, reading a bit. It's uh, 3 p.m. So let's do that. Go to bed reading a bit. Then I will cook some uh, hot food charting the camp corner and then maybe read uh, one more let's do that Coordinates 30 degree 5742 and 46 degree 0618 Yotel El Mukai Arab is located in Iraq. Your Your show within Iraq Your is located in Near East. Your 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 Near East Your is located in West and Central Asia. Your 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 West and Central Asia Location Tel El Mukai Ardika Governorate Iraq region Mesopotamia Middle East coordinates 30 degree 5742 N46 degree 06180. Your forward slash R forward slash Sumerian or note 1. Your in winking sad smiley 1. Arcadian. Your winking sad smiley 2. Arabic. Romanized. R. Hebrew. Was an important. Sumerian city-state in ancient Mesopotamia, located at the site of modern Tel El Mukair, Arabic, in South Iraq's Dika Governorate. Dot three. Although Yor was once a coastal city near the mouth of the Euphrates on the Persian Gulf, the coastline has shifted and the city is now well inland on the south bank of the Euphrates, 16 kilometers (10 mi) from Nazri in modern-day Iraq. Dot four. The city dates from the Ubaid period circa 3800 BC, and is recorded in written history as a city-state from 26th century BC, its first recorded king being King Tutus. The city's patron deity was Nana, in Arcadian, Sin, the Sumerian, and Arcadian moon god, and the name of the city is in origin derived from the god's name, Anubki, literally the boat, Anug, of Nana. The site is marked by the partially restored ruins of the Ziggurat of York, which contain a shrine of Nana, excavated in the 1930s. The temple was built in the 21st century BC, short chronology, during the reign of Yornamu and was reconstructed in the 6th century BC by Nabonidus, the last king of Babylon. Five, layout. Sumer and Elam C 2350 BC. Yor was located closer to the coastline near the mouth of the Euphrates. Society and culture. Archaeological discoveries have shown unequivocally that Yor is a major Sumerian urban center on the Mesopotamian plain. Especially the discovery of the royal tombs has confirmed its type settlement history founded. 3800 BC abandoned after 500 period sub 8 period to Iron Age cultures Sumerian site notes excavation dates 1853-1854-1922-1934-2015 present archaeologists John George Taylor Charles Leonard Willie Elizabeth C. Stone Paul Zimanski Adel Haight Otto UNESCO World Heritage Site Official Name Your Archaeological City Part of Our War of Southern Iraq Criteria Mixed 3 V 9 X Reference 1481-006 Inscription 2016 40 TH Session Area 71 Ha 0.27 Square Me Buffer zone 317 half 1.22 square me. 
splendor. These tombs, which date to the early dynastic Iaia period, approximately in the 25th or 24th century BC, contained an immense treasure of luxury items made of precious metals and semi-precious stones imported from long distances, ancient Iran, Afghanistan, India, Asia Minor, the Levant and the Persian Gulf. Dot. 5. This wealth, unparalleled up often, is a testimony of your economic importance during the early Bronze Age. Dot. 6. Excavation in the old city of Yor in 1929 revealed the liars of your instruments. Similar to the modern harp but in the shape of a bowl and with 11 strings. Dot. 7. History. Prehistory. When Yor was founded, the Persian Gulf's water level was two and a half meters higher than today. Yor is thought, therefore, to have had marshy surroundings. Irrigation would have been unnecessary, and the city's evident canals likely were used for transportation. Fish, birds, tubers, and reeds might have supported your economically without the need for an agricultural revolution sometimes hypothesized as a prerequisite to urbanization. Eight, nine, prehistoric Ubaid period. Archaeologists have discovered evidence of early occupation at Yor during the Ubaid period, c. 5500-3700 BC, 10, a prehistoric period of Mesopotamia. The name derives from Tel Ubaid where the earliest large excavation of Ubaid period material was conducted initially in 1919 by Henry Hall and later by Leonard Willey. 11, 12, later. A layer of soil covered the occupation levels from the Ubaid period. Excavators of the 1920s interpreted the layer of soil as evidence for the Great Flood of the Book of Genesis and Epic of Gilgamesh. It is now understood that the South Mesopotamian plain was exposed to regular floods from the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers, with heavy erosion from water and wind which may have given rise to the Mesopotamian and derivative Biblical Great Flood stories. 13, 14, Bronze Age There are various main sources informing scholars about the importance of Yor during the early Bronze Age. Protocuniform tablets from the early dynastic period, c. 2900 BC, have been recovered. 15, 16, the first dynasty of Yor seems to have had great wealth and power, as shown by the lavish remains of the royal cemetery at Yor. The Sumerian king list provides a tentative political history of ancient Sumer and mentions, among others, several rulers of Yor. Mesonipada is the first king mentioned in the Sumerian king. The name Yor in 5ki4 country of Yor on a seal of King Yor Nam Ulizard headed mute woman nursing a child, from Yor, Ubaid period, c. 4500-4000 BC, Iraq Museum enthroned King Yor Nam U, c. 2047-2030 BC, list, and appears to have lived in the 26th century BC. That Yor was an important urban center already then seems to be indicated by a type of cylinder seal called the city seals. These seals contain a set of protocuniform signs which appear to be writings or symbols of the name of the states in ancient Mesopotamia. Many of these seals have been found in Yor, and the name of Yor is prominent on them. 17. Yor came under the control of the Semitic-speaking Arcadian Empire founded by Sargon the Great between the 24th and 22nd centuries BC. This was a period when the Semitic-speaking Arcadians, who had entered Mesopotamia in approximately 3000 BC, gained ascendancy over the Sumerians, and indeed much of the ancient Near East. Empire of the Third Dynasty of Yor. West is at top north at right. Empire of the Third Dynasty of Yor. West is up top, north at right. Gold Helmet of King of Yor I Mescalander, C2600-2500 BC. Gold Helmet of King of Yor I Mescalander, C.2600-2500 BC. 
Mesopotamian female deity seated on a chair, old Babylonian fired clay plaque from your Mesopotamian female deity seated on a chair, old Babylonian fired clay plaque from your Your 3. After a short period of chaos following the fall of the Arcadian Empire, the third Your dynasty was established when the King Your Nanyu came to power ruling between c. 2047 BC and 2030 BC. During his rule, temples, including the ziggurat of Yor, were built, and agriculture was improved through irrigation. His Code of Laws, the Code of Yor Namu, a fragment was identified in Istanbul in 1952, Isin of the oldest such documents known, preceding the Code of Hammurabi by 300 years. He and his successor Shulji were both deified during their reigns, and after his death he continued as a hero figure. One of the surviving works of Sumerian literature describes the death of Yornamu and his journey to the underworld. 18. Standard of Yor Mosaic, c. 2600 BC. The Standard of Yor Mosaic, from the royal tombs of Yor, is made of red limestone. Bitumen, lapis lazuli, and shell. The peace side shows comfort, music, and prosperity. The war side shows the king, his armies, and chariots trampling on enemies. Map of the world around 2000 BC showing the third dynasty of Uranamu was succeeded by Shulji, the greatest king of third dynasty of Yor, who solidified the hegemony of Yor and reformed the empire into a highly centralized bureaucratic state. Shulji ruled for a long time, at least 42 years, and deified himself halfway through his rule. 19. Ziggurat of Yor The Yor Empire continued through the reigns of three Mora kings with Semitic Arcadian names 13. Amasin, Shusin, and Ibisin. It fell around 1940 BC to the Elamitian 24th regnal year of Ibisin, an event commemorated by the lament for Yor. 20, 21, according to one estimate, Yor was the largest city in the world from it. 2030 to 1980 BC. Its population was approximately 65,000, or 0.1% share of global population then. The city of Yor lost its political power after the demise of the Third Dynasty of Yor. Nevertheless, its important position which kept on providing access to the Persian Gulf ensured the ongoing economic importance of the city during the 2nd millennium BC. The city came to be ruled by the Amorite First Dynasty of Babylon which rose to prominence in southern Mesopotamia in the 19th century BC. During the Old Babylonian Empire, in the reign of Samsuiluna, Yor was abandoned. It later became a part of the native Sealand dynasty for several centuries. It then came under the control of the Kassites in the 16th century BC, and sporadically under the control of the Middle Assyrian Empire between the 14th and 11th centuries BC. 22. Iron Age. The city, along with the rest of southern Mesopotamia and much of the Near East, Asia Minor, North Africa and Southern Caucasus, fell to the North Mesopotamian Neo-Assyrian Empire from the 10th to late 7th centuries BC. From the end of the 7th century BC Yor was ruled by the so-called Chaldean dynasty of Babylon. In the 6th century BC there was new construction in Yor under the rule of Nebuchadnezzar II of Babylon. The last Babylonian king, Nabonidus, improved the ziggurat. However, the city started to decline. From around 530 BC after Babylonia fell to the Persian Achaemenid Empire, and was no longer inhabited by the early 5th century BC. 13. The demise of Yor was perhaps owing to drought, changing river patterns and the silting of the outlet to the Persian Gulf. Identification with the Biblical Yor. Abraham's house in Yor photographed in 2016 Yor is possibly the city of Yor custom mentioned in the book of Genesis as the birthplace of the Hebrew and Muslim patriarch Abraham, Abraham in Hebrew, Ibrahim in Arabic, 
traditionally believed to have lived some time in the second millennium BC. 23, 24. There are, however, conflicting traditions and scholarly opinions identifying your custom with the sites of Anlurtha, Urkesh, Yorush, or Kuba. The biblical Yor is mentioned four times in the Torah or Hebrew Bible. With the distinction of the Kastim forward slash Kastim traditional rendered in English as your of the Shaldees. The Shaldeans had settled in the vicinity by around 850 BC, but were not 